The game between uh, psychiatry and law was settled in some way at the end of 19th century and beginning of uh, 20th century in all uh, Western countries. Uh, they reached an agreement in the sense that psychiatrists had a chance to influence the decision even if uh, the, uh, the person was not affected by total delirium but only by a um, dim diminished capacity of uh, understanding the uh, conduct and crime. And nowadays uh, neuroscience is changing the perception of the human behavior and so we have to understand what of the old agreement between psychiatry and, and law can last and what have, has to be changed according to the new findings of neuroscience. Uh, neuroimaging uh, is already uh, used in courts, mainly in the United States, and we can foresee very easily that in all countries, sooner or later will be uh, adopted and presented as evidence to judges. The problem is how to deal with this kind of knowledge that is very impressive for jurors and even for, for judges. We have to uh, know more about this technique, uh, about what this kind of colored images can uh, exactly say about the mental status of the person. In neuroscience, a brain imaging will give a chance to have a deeper knowledge of the uh, physical, uh, biological basis of human behavior. And in this sense, uh, something will change. Uh, we have the possibility to uh, select the response to crime according to a more personalized knowledge of the person. The possibility of um, treating, of treatment of uh, guilty people is one real novelty. Uh, is something new if we compare the nowadays debate with the debate in 19th century about free, uh, free will. And this is a very sensitive point because if neuroscience will give a, a chance to change the human behavior in some sense, we uh, as society have to ask what should we do with people that we know have a real chance to continue committing the same kind of crime. But of course it can be also very dangerous because it's a sort of manipulation of uh, people and this is an historical problem of the response of uh, deviance and crime in the society.